Hi everybody, it's Ramona again from Connect to Your Angels. Hi, I hope you all had a wonderful week. I sure did, it was a great week. It was my birthday week and I had a wonderful, wonderful birthday. I wanna thank you so much for all of those who sent in birthday messages. I was completely overwhelmed with, uh, I don't know how many emails and messages and everything that came through and I just totally all day long uh, was you know, literally overwhelmed with this feeling of a love. So thank you so much. Uh, it's so nice to uh, to hear that from all of you. And um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's reading, which is for October 22nd to the 28th. Before I get started, I want to show you my new crystal that I just got. I'm so excited. Um, this is, I call it Black Beauty. Here she is. La la. Nice, hey? It's a raw black tourmaline, which is really good for dispelling any kind of negativity. It's good for lots of other things. If you go onto my Facebook page, connect to your angels, and the two is the number two. Um, go onto my Facebook page. I've just posted a whole bunch of stuff about what you can use black tourmaline for but it's very powerful. Um, I just love it. You can actually use this for healing, uh, for especially anything to do with bladder. Um, so that's really good. And there's numerous other things that I posted on there. So anyways, black tourmaline, um, again, helps to dispel negativity. Any black stone is actually good for that. So you could use onyx, jet, um, Oh, hematite, uh, what's the other one, obsidian, there's lots. So if you're interested in crystals though too, I also wanna give a shout out to Hibiscus Moon. She has a fantastic website, tons of information on crystal stuff. You can sign up to her newsletter, uh, her blog, and she actually has an academy and does a certified crystal healer course. So if that sounds like it's right up your alley, you may wanna check it out. I'm very intrigued and interested in this, so I will definitely be looking into it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this week's reading, and this week I'm using my healing, oops, healing with the angel card deck. There it is, ta-da! So we'll go ahead and do our usual three cards, one for the beginning of the week, one for the middle, and one for the weekend. Okay. Very good. And one more. Oh, almost had one. Oh, we did have one fly out. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So for Monday, Tuesday, the card that I drew is Miracles. Can you see that there? And this is a really nice card. Um, you can see in the imagery here, there's a spark of light. Everything else is dark, right? There's pretty black background so we're getting some uh, what do you call it shine off the card but it's a black background with a little spark of light and these big big wings all around the angel on there so this card is really about tuning in and trusting the guidance from your angels um, to ask them for help because they're saying you know it only takes a little bit of light to break up all of that darkness and they are the light that can come and do that for you. Um, they're always there with those, you know, the big wing imagery there, supporting you, guiding you, loving you. So use them. And a lot of times when things seem really dark and we don't see how there could ever, ever be a way out of something and we only think, you know, miracles are something that happened to other people, well, guess what? They can just as well happen to you. A lot of people have this mentality of, you know, who am I to expect that this could happen to me? Or who am I to think that I could earn that kind of salary? Who am I to think that I would be promoted? Or who, you know, we have that mentality. And it's like, they're saying, who are you not to get those things? You're just as deserving as everybody else. So why not? So call on the angels and use them for what they're, you know, they're there as a, as a gift from God. You've heard me say this before. So why would you not unwrap that gift? Right? Why would you just sit there and look at this beautifully wrapped presence sitting in front of you and go, yeah, no, I'm not going to open that. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I would be ripping that open 
and taking advantage of what they have to offer you and asking for assistance and trusting that those miracles can happen. They happen every single day, every single day. And it's all based on your intent and your thought and what you expect to happen. If you expect wonderful and great things to happen, then guess what? They will. So remember that, for especially again for Monday and Tuesday. Expect miracles, okay? Into Wednesday, Thursday, we have this beautiful card, support. I know you're getting some light shining on that too. Well, I'm just gonna move it in a bit so you can see it a bit more. I love the imagery on this. So in this card, you have the light beings, you have ascended masters, you have the angels, you have uh, like guides. It's basically a reminder that you never walk alone. You have all that support around you. Like I said, deceased loved ones, your guardian angels, your guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, uh, and then, you know, totems as well. There's totem animals and all kinds of stuff that are up there helping you. Call on them again. It's really a reminder. I think you guys have been kind of forgetting or only thinking about using this angelic and divine support when something big happens, right? So, and you're frustrated. A lot of you are frustrated by little things. Little things can add up to be big irritances, right? So don't let it add up and pile up and, and just get worse and worse. Um, they're saying get it while it's small, you know, get that problem in check so that it doesn't have to grow and become a big, big issue. Um, and remember about this beautiful support that you have. If some of you are feeling alone, uh, feeling overwhelmed by things, take a moment to just close your eyes and imagine all this beautiful divine support around you. Feel it around you. Tune into that energy. Uh, you may get shivers. You may get heat. You may notice shifts in the air pressure around you. That is you tuning into their energy. So if you ever experience that, or sometimes you might see like uh, shimmers, little light shimmers around you, that's them. So know that it's not made up, that it's real, they exist, and they are there. And like I said, always ready, willing, and able to help you in any moment. So remember about that support. Okay, into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, friendship. Whoopsie, let me put it over here. Friendship. These little cherubs on there. So it's interesting. Um, I don't know if some of you have been feeling this, but it may have been a year of shedding for a lot of you. And when it came to the area of friendships, some long standing friendships may actually have all of a sudden gone by the wayside. And it's not because of any kind of falling out or anything like that. It's more like you just sort of grew apart, your interests weren't the same anymore. And, you know, that's hard, especially if it's been a long-standing friendship, but what the angels want you to know is that that was something that, that had to happen. It was necessary to happen so that you could make way for all the wonderful new people that are just waiting to come into your life, who share a common interest with you, who are like-minded, um, that you can grow and share on your spiritual journeys together. So, you know, know that while yes, it's difficult to let go of people who've been in your life a long time, sometimes that's the process of life. Life can't be static. If, if we're static, then we die. So we always have to be growing and changing um, like the living world because we're a living organism. So things will never always just, you know, stay the same. There always has to be some kind of movement or change going on. Now, they're saying if this has been really particularly difficult for you and you are finding it hard emotionally and you're heavy hearted, um, call on them for that assistance to help to ease that heavy heartedness, to lighten your burden, to make you feel better about the situation. Sometimes it helps to also write to let your feelings out as opposed to stuffing them down. A lot of people do, which you know can lead to a lot of issues and manifestations physically of, of illness and things like that that can happen when we don't deal with our problems in a healthy way. Another thing is in this card there's like a little guitar sort of instrument 
Listening to music is a great way to lift your vibrations. So if you're feeling upset or sad or you know disheartened or whatever about what's happened, put on some happy music, your favorite song, and that will also help to make you feel better and lift your vibration and help you to kind of get over that that sadness. So that's what else they're saying. So use that as a tool. And even getting outside as well um, always helps to clear the mind and helps you to kind of get more grounded and just feel better about the situation. So take a walk or, you know, if you can't, where wherever you live, if it's not a good time of year for you and it's just miserable outside, you can, uh, I was talking about the music, but you can actually listen to music or CDs that have nature sounds. Um, it could be animal sounds, it could be like a waterfall sound or the ocean or something that reminds you of the outdoors that brings that inside. So they're saying that's another tool that you can use. So that's the reading for the week, everybody. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful week ahead. I hope you have nicer weather than we do. It snowed today in Calgary and was high, I think, of like minus two. So ugh, not really my fave. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'm kind of hoping to get over the hump of Halloween before we have to deal with snow. And all this week's kind of looking mm, not so great either. But anyway, that's okay. You know, I'm grateful for the snow because it brings nourishment and moisture to the earth, to Mother Earth, and to all the plants and the animals. So, you know what? It's a good thing. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> and I'm putting flannel sheets on my bed. So there you go. It's all good. Have a great week, everybody. Wishing you much love, angel blessings, and we'll see you all here next week. Take care.